Okay, good evening, YouTube Fat Cat Collections. Back at you with a quick um, fragrance update. Um, recently, I've been contacting uh, because my channel is getting so much exposure and so many people are watching and liking the videos. So thank you so much. Um, I've been contacting some niche fragrance houses asking for samples that I will review on my channel. And so far, I've gotten uh, three of them to send me, or sorry, two of them uh, to send me samples. Uh, thank you so much, guys. And um, thank you for your generosity. And one is the other one is Wise Guys Colognes out of Vegas. And uh, they said they were going to, and then they didn't fall through. And uh, I emailed them, they didn't respond back. So I don't know, maybe they think I'm trying to get something for free or whatever. I don't know if they took the time to, to check out my channel and the links. 2,600 subscribers, people watch me, uh, over 1.2 mil million views. So, guys, if you want to send those samples, great. If not, uh, no big deal. Uh, but hopefully I get the opportunity to tell you guys about Wise Guys because they're not really, uh, you know, I don't know how well known they are. I've never heard of them uh, other than uh, by looking at them from somebody else's channel. So, uh, it'd be kind of interesting to see what they smell like. But two fragrance houses that did send me uh, samples are Zoologist, which is my other video I just put up, which I'm going to review each and every one of those. And this one here, this one here, man... I'm, I'm really happy with some of the results I'm getting on these. And this is by the house of... I don't know why I'm holding these. I'm just going to read them off to you because these are just little sample sizes. But this came from uh, Josh down at Imaginary Authors out of Oregon. And uh, thank you, Josh, so much for sending me these samples. I am really, really impressed. And I'll continue to email you back and forth and let you know um, what I think on each and every one of these when I wear them. And I like to give them a fair chance, not just by spraying them on the piece of paper, but by wearing them and seeing how I feel when I wear them. Uh, what kind of emotion, re emotional response I get from wearing them, and what kind of compliments I get from them. So let me just tell you which ones I'm going to be reviewing in the next couple weeks. And bear with me because I do a lot of overtime. I work a lot. So it's, I have to do this on my weekends a lot of times or after work when I'm not working or I have enough energy. And so it just takes a lot of time. So there's going to be a lot more videos coming. So remember, keep subscribed to the channel so you're updated, okay? So um, Josh is nice to send me uh, Memoirs of a Trespasser, okay? And I'm not going to break down the notes or anything like that. Mosaic. Cape Heartache. A City on Fire. Uh, Yesterday's Haze. The Soft Lawn. The Cobra and the Canary. And finally, Every Storm a Serenade. Now, man, these smell good. Now, so far... Of the ones I've actually worn on my skin, okay, I've worn Every Storm of Serenade, which I believe is their newest one, and I have to say, I really, really like this fragrance a lot, enough that I might end up, I mean, you know I'm the $20 and under guy, so for me to rationalize spending $100 on a bottle of cologne, that's pretty extreme when I can buy a watch, you know, but um, I have to say that there is a real difference, nobody's going to be replicating these colognes, nobody's going to have anything that smells like these colognes, they are extremely unique. And you'll either like them or hate them, but I don't think they're as extreme as a wildest. Uh, however, so far, I really like these fragrances. And Josh, this Every Storm of Serenade, I don't know, your your fragrances definitely are bringing out, like, it's definitely, there is definitely a passion and an emotion in creating these juices. And what they do is they basically make fragrances that are, I guess, modeled after certain books, which to me, I'm not a reader, makes me want to go read the book and wear it just for the experience. And so this is a winner right here. The other one I've tried on is also the Cobra and the Canary, which I let my mom smell it. She didn't care for it. Um, it has a very similar smell to every... every. They all have a very similar note, and I'm not sure what it is, or the DNA of what you know people uh, in the fragrance community describe. Uh, certain house, they have that, you know, that Terry Mugler DNA or that imaginary author's DNA, and I get that with these as well. I think that I would be able to tell no matter which one you're wearing that it is an imaginary, imaginary author scent. Um, the other one I spray on a piece of paper is City on Fire, and that one is super smoky. I haven't been ballsy enough yet to wear it because it does smell like a fire. I mean, like smoky, smoky, smoky. I sprayed a piece of paper like two weeks ago, and it still smells like smoke. So it's going to be interesting to, to wear that. There's a girl at work, again, who's very, very into outdoors like that. So I'm going to hit her with that, see what she thinks. I'm not really sure yet. So, But i got to tell you, I'm intrigued. I'm liking them. And stay tuned for the reviews. Not many people reviewing imaginary authors. And although I don't have the full bottle to show you the presentation and all that, you'll get an idea of what I think about the scent and whether or not you should buy it or not. And that's what it really comes down to. Again, these are daring scents. 
and they're not as daring as other scents out there. Again, like Zoologist, who sent me their samples, those are very daring. But these ones here are very, very unique, and I've never smelled anything like them. And I have to say, so far, I'm very, very impressed. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel so you'll be updated when I upload these videos, and stay tuned. Take care.